Jury duty, uh, sucks. Am I happy with who I am? Am I happy with who I am? Am I happy with the people around me? If YouTube ain't lying to me, a good portion of y'all know what it is, and some of y'all probably still don't. In the good old United States of America, when being criminally prosecuted, you are being judged by a jury of your peers, and while on paper that sounds fair, you know, the everyman given a perspective probably similar or more sympathetic to you opposed to some lawyer suits and judges who may not, you know, have a touch on reality, it actually doesn't make any sense at all. I don't know about you, but I don't know jack shit about due process. I don't even know the difference between a mile and a kilometer, but that makes me more than qualified to influence the life of another random human being going forward. I think that sounds kind of irresponsible, and also it's it's mandatory. There's no choice. Uh, if you live here, you, you kind of have to do it, or else you'll face a big fine or, or go to big jail. Yeah, that's right, big jail. Land it for you, I'm gonna brave ride. What, what the fuck is a kilometer? <laughs> Certified side nigga secret. See, we've all kind of been just gaslit into being fine with the state wasting our time in the name of it being our civic duty. Because when you think about it, none of this makes sense and literally every person a part of it wants nothing to do with it. Back in 2022, I was summoned for jury duty, but I had a bit of an oopsie, oopsie crazy moment. I had a bit of an unrelated mental breakdown, which was a perfect excuse for me to get out of doing that jury duty shit. I put up to the courthouse with my crazy house paperwork and said, hey, um, I'm clinically insane right now. Uh, Maybe you don't have me as a juror? And the lady went, "Uh, sure. I don't give a fuck. You're exempt for two years. Now, technically, this lady lied to me because this was in October of 2022, and I got summoned for jury duty September of 2024. Not a full three, six, five. Yeah, but I, I didn't really care. Now, coincidentally, almost all of my friends, including my best friend who I had to drive to the courthouse, all got their jury duty summons before school started. Not me, no. Of course, inconvenience for the block. Of course, it couldn't be the first week, not the second. No, it had to be the third week of class when stuff starts actually being important. You know, and attendance actually starts to matter, like for real, for real. Yeah, just fuck me. But I thought, well, you know. Uh, my buds tanked it and maybe I might find an interesting case or something so why not why not being like paying a, a, a thousand dollars or spending like a couple days in jail uh, and, and, and also paying a thousand dollars there's no like there's no free will here now in Louisiana and New Orleans Louisiana I have to reiterate because there's gonna be some dumb <gasps> fuck in the comments going well in my state a jury dude is pretty cool you get paid a thousand dollars to sit there with your me, fucking me, head back in your mouth open cool I don't give a fuck in my city at the courthouse I went to the only thing that they validate for you is your fucking parking and that's once uh, when you go to lunch you can't like go home uh because if you come back you have to pay for your parking you don't get paid a dime so if you don't live close to the city you gotta drive out to the courthouse 20 minutes out like me uh, you waste gas and you don't get reimbursed for that uh at all you also don't get paid if selected or not and you have to pay for your own lunch they don't they don't supply lunch so it's a, it's a net negative uh, you will just lose money and time uh, going there because the state said it's we said so now, fortunately or unfortunately for me however how you look at it i engaged in some debauchery the night before i'll say and i was uh, a bit floaty on my way to the courthouse but i drive down to the park a lot blast my Miku park and my validated parking spot then i realized oh well the courthouse is a 10 minute walk from the from the parking garage whatever i guess i'll walk in this 80 degree heat once i finally get in the courthouse it's very apparent to me that nobody wants to be here including the people whose job it is to be here i go up to the bag check metal detector hey uh, should i take my watch and my rings off no you don't have to take any of those things off just go through the metal detector oh my bad i just didn't want to be inconsiderate well you don't have to now hurry up there's a line behind you there's like one guy behind me i get in the hallway to the jury lounge and there's like a lady kind of like gatekeeping it rudely answering everybody else's questions in the hallway line I just avoid her and go to a completely different lady to validate my parking who also kind of looks like she doesn't want to be here. Once I go into the jury lounge, there's this lady who's sitting at this front, like, juror desk who just has the most condescending tone I have ever heard in my life. Any person has a question, she's just too fucking bothered to do her job and answer it. She'll answer it in the most, like, you're a fucking idiot sort of way possible. There was this lady who had a genuine concern that she needed to pick up her kids from daycare and had literally nobody else to do it. And the other lady says, well, ma'am, you're gonna have to figure that out. That is an our job. Yeah, no shit, she'll have to figure it out. No fucking thanks to you. I would think that non-conventional single parent households would be exempt from this jury duty shit, especially when we're not getting paid for it in this city, but no, uh, fuck you, I guess. Figure out how to pick up and provide for your kids on your own time, even though we're using your own time legally. Now the thing about jury duty over here is they schedule you for two weeks and every night before the next day you have to call to make sure that you have to come in. I ain't wanna do all that because I got a life and, and like class and assignments to do. So I printed out my class schedule and other school paperwork to show this lady so that I could like not be here. And apparently I forgot the fucking Treaty of Versailles because I, I was missing something, obviously. Hey, can I help you? Yeah, I'm a college student. I have an exam today, actually. I, I kind of can't be here. What high school did you say you went to? I, I said I was like, a college student. I, I go to college. When do you graduate? Oh, uh, well, it should be like 26, 28, depending on like what 
ever happens, I guess. Mm, well, I can't push you all the way up to 2028. That isn't what I, like, asked. You could even, like, push this up a couple weeks. Well, to do that, I'm going to need proof of when you graduate. Like, when I graduated high school? No, proof of when you graduate college. I mean, I got asked Dr. Strange for the time stone, but how am I going to prove to you, like, a, a projected thing that might or might not happen? You can go sit down over there and figure that out. When I tell you I almost fucking shattered that surface glass and jumped over that fucking desk, you could be a 60-year-old lady with Parkinson's and osteoporosis. If you talk to me crazy, I will put a fucking brick to your teeth. There's no way you should be speaking to me or anyone like this for that matter if you hate talking to people why is this your job it wasn't just me it was men and women her age and older she just didn't care old black women are either the nicest most no nonsense or most condescending people you meet on the fucking planet she wasn't the nicest or most no nonsense she was all the nonsense she was condescending as fuck and i had to sit there for eight hours that's right eight hours enduring this shit if you don't get called to be a juror on trial you're not free to go newsflash you sit there all day waiting for somebody to do that and if they don't then you've just wasted eight hours Hours, my friend and yeah uh, i did this twice so uh, that was 16 hours i wasted along with half a tank of gas and three hours in all of a sudden my phone charger just stopped working because I mean, fuck me even even more the, the, the plot needs more humor so i had the raw dog and watching episodes of who wants to make a deal with rain brady on tv all day now i like wayne brady i like whose line is it anyways but god damn i just want to go home there were two girls i ended up sending in between that didn't know each other that ended up talking like they're on a fucking tiktok millennial gen z podcast they just kept talking glenn powell this katie perry that time i'm in the middle with a vein popping in my head thinking oh my god white people have no spatial awareness i almost offered to switch seats with one of them but no that's that's not my job that, that's what that's your job you're, you're supposed to do that it just kept going on and on and on until they ran out of shit to talk about and then they kept talking even more and there were like no other seats i could move to because all of them were filled so i just kind of like went to sleep every time i woke up to see wayne brady ball head ass in a different suit and them talking about a different fucking talk to a podcast subject oh my soul i wanted to hit that long live johnny Tucello. i mean he probably would have been mad that i said that uh before like c4 in the whole place but it would have been funny shout out johnny on the bright side i did get some homophobia chicken before i left the spicy deluxe is to die for not sponsored auto condescending lady was like you guys have to report it tomorrow again tomorrow again 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 i got a text uh as soon as i parked my car in front of my house saying hey uh actually no uh you're good uh you did week one uh you did the first day of week two uh you're good we don't we don't care anymore and i thought haha uh suck it this is your life forever this is two weeks of mine i got better things to spend my gas money on like going to school or uh, visiting my partner who lives like across the city like 20 minutes away ah! certified side nigga secret uh bill was the pace so listen to this uh sponsored non-legal advice also look at my tattoo pretty cool right <laughs> Morgan & Morgan Legal Stuff. Do you have legal trouble? Did you recently slip and fall on a bed of nails and hot coals? So let me put you on game. Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm with over a thousand attorneys operating in all 50 states. They're more than just a traditional law firm. They're a national consumer facing brand with a promise of being for the people. When you're actually hurt, your injury could be worth like millions. Morgan & Morgan don't get low ball. They will make sure that you got what you need. If of course you become their client. 12 million in Florida. 34 times the highest insurance offer. 26 million in Pennsylvania. 40 times the highest insurance offer. And if he is absolutely free unless you win. You can hit my link in the description to scan the QR code with your phone camera and go to Morgan and Morgan at 40 people.com slash Veritas. If we get injured, your case could be worth a lot, a lot of money. You're like a few clicks for making everything like 40% better in my opinion. Like life altering information is right there. Believe it. You can hit my link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone camera to go to Morgan and Morgan at for the people.com slash Veritas. That's for the people.com slash Veritas. I ain't the boss. I'm just a messenger. I'm just a guy. I'm just me. Morgan and Morgan. Tap in. I didn't upload last month because I was busy with school and also I got like really sick. Uh, don't be mad at me. Uh, I love you. No parasocial shit. Mm -hmm.